Trichomonas. Genus Trichomonas consists of three species which occur in humans. They are Trichomonas vaginalis, Trichomonas hominis and Trichomonas tanex. Trichomonas vaginalis is the causative agent of trichomoniasis, a STD. Other two are harmless organisms. Coming to the Trichomonas vaginalis, it is the main organism which causes trichomoniasis. This parasite was first observed by Don in 1836. He observed it from vaginal secretion. It is a sexually transmitted organism. It is anaerobic organism. The feature of this parasite is that as compared to the other flagellates, it exists only in the trophozoid stage. Cystic stage is absent. Trico, it causes trichomoniasis. Other parasites which transmitted by sexual conduct are Gyardia lamblia and Endamoeba histolytica. Coming to the morphology of Trichomonas vaginalis, it is pear shape, 10 to 30 micrometer length and 5 to 10 micrometer breadth. Pear shape organism Trichomonas. They consist of endulating membrane which reaches up to the middle of the body. This is the endulating membrane which reaches up to the middle of the body. It consists of four anterior flagella and fifth flagella running the outer margin of endulating membrane which is supported at base by flexible rod known as costa. This is four anterior flagella and fifth flagella is supported by costa. Exostyle runs throughout the length of the body and projects like a tail. Exostyle like a tail. Cytoplasm shows numeric sidrophilic granules. The feature of it, trichomonas vaginalis is its movement. They show a particular movement which is called jerky or twitching type movement. Shows jerky or twitching type movement. Coming to the life cycle of Trichomonas vaginalis, it's complete its life cycle in a single host, either male or female. Trophocyte divided by binary fission. Cis a sister's nose formed, trophocyte itself is the infective form. This is the infective form. Infective form of Trophocyte in the vagina or, or orifice of urethra. Trophocytes divided by longitudinal binary fission. Trophocytes in the vaginal and prostatic secretion. It is the diagnostic stage. It is the infective stage. Trophocyte divided by longitudinal binary fission. This is like longitudinal binary fission. During intercourse, it gets transmission occurs from male to female or female to male. Mode of transmission. Usually, sexual mode is the most common mode of transmission. Babies get infection during birth, that is vertical transmission. Vaginal pH more than 4.5 facilitate infection, which increases the chances of infection. Incubation period is roughly 10 days, which extends from 4 days to 4 weeks. Coming to the pathogenesis of the trichomoniasis, it infects squamous epithelium of the vagina and secrete cysteine, protease, adhesins, lactic acid which causes lower the vagina pH which increases the infection. This and it causes petechial hemorrhage and mucosal capillary dilatation. It is called strawberry mucosa. It's a feature of trichomoniasis. It is called strawberry mucosa. This is the strawberry mucosa. Looks like strawberry, the mucosa of vagina. It causes intracellular edema and so called chicken like epithelium. This is the characteristic feature of trichomoniasis. Coming to the clinical features, in males, usually asymptomatic, 
some may develop urethritis epidermis prostate etc in females it is symptomatic it is called severe pruritic vaginitis with the offensive yellowish green often frothy discharge it is cause in females cause dysuria the pain during urination dysperiunia pain during intercourse in females it is cause vaginitis itching and dysuria etc cervical emotion erosion sorry cervical erosion is common endometritis and pyosalpingit are infrequent complication rarely in neonate pneumonia and conjunctivitis often reported coming to the lab diagnosis first is microscopic examination the wet mount my jerky and twitching motility seen after the during microscopic examination of vagina, vaginal urethra secretions abundance of leukocytes also seen the twitching or jerky type movement shown by trichomonas vaginalis permanent stain fixed smears may be stained with acridin papanica and gimsa stains next direct fluorescent antibody this method is more sensitive than wet mount and microscopic examination next culture culture is considered as the gold standard and most sensitive method it grows best at 35 to 37 degrees celsius under anaerobic condition ph 5.5 to 6 is optimal for growth of this organism they grow in usually in solid media liquid media tissue culture and eggs the particular medium are often used they are cystic peptone liver maltose and plastic envelope media they are often used coming to the serology elisa and rapid immunochromatography tests are used they detect antigen of this organism coming to the molecular method pcr and dna hybridization pcr polymerase chain reaction these are high sensitivity and specificity coming to the treatment of this organism drug of choice is metronidazole the metronidazole are also safe at pregnancy second and third trimesters and usually the treatment with both partners are required coming to the prophylaxis avoid coitus with the infective person use barrier during intercourse coming to the next organism of trichomonas tenax it is harmless organism it is also called trichomonas baccalis harmless common cell in mouth period or dental pockets and tooth cavities it was transmitted by kissing salivary droplets or fomates sporadic reports of its involvement in respiratory infection and thoracic abscess this is organism small harmless organism last organism trichomonas hominis they are also very harmless common cell of cecum harmless organism microscopic examination of stool revealed motile trophocyte of trichomonas hominis the transmission occurs in trophic form by fecal oral route so we came to end thank you